All right, we're gonna try to do a little bit of quick soldering here and uh, solder some pins on a level shifter and solder some pins on a temperature sensor. Now the level shifter has pins on both sides. Um, so all you really need to do is take the pins, put them in a little tiny breadboard and uh, line them up so you can drop it right on. The temperature sensor, however, has pins only on one side. And if you just drop them on like that, it's going to flop and be at a slight angle, so you really want to put something under the back side, the other, the opposing side, just so that it keeps it level. Um, that way, it's uh, it'll stay on the pins nice and square and won't touch down on on the breadboard and do unexpected things. Now, the next thing to do is add just a touch of liquid rosin or flux. Um, and you do that so that um, any uh, dirt that might be on the uh, connection that you're about to make uh, is eliminated. The rosin will clean the connection as it's heated up and allow the solder to, to come to uh, adhere properly. So just a quick drop, a little bit of uh, the rosin uh, flux. Now this is... Um, flux that doesn't need to be washed off. Some fluxes need to be washed off. It's really kind of um, up to the type of uh, flux that you might buy. So uh, I use a uh, flux that's uh, uh, no clean rosin so I don't have to do anything uh, after I'm done soldering. But whatever works for you, um, just a little bit goes a long way. You don't actually have to use it. Um, you can make do without the flux but it's a little tougher to get good clean uh, solder connections so I highly recommend um, using the flux wherever possible because it will give you a cleaner solder connection e much easier to do. So with that take our solder iron clean the tip so it's nice and shiny touch it down where we want to apply the solder uh, and then uh, well, wait for the solder iron to get hot. That would be a good thing. There we go. Touch it down. And then when the pin is hot, just apply a touch of the uh, solder directly to the uh, pin. Uh, and it'll melt right on. You really can't get too hot. Um, the pins are designed so that just about anybody can solder them on without much trouble. A little bit of solder goes a long way and that really takes care of that quickly. Now on the level shifter it's pretty much the same thing except you get twice as many pins. Uh, so you t again touch it down, put the solder to the pin, not to the iron. Um, now this is because if you, if you touch the solder directly to the iron obviously the solder will melt but the the pin that you're soldering may not be up to temperature. Uh, if it's not up to temperature, you're going to get a cold solder joint and then uh, it's not going to work. So, touch the pin first. Clean your tip off a few times when you're doing this. Again, you want it nice and shiny. Then touch down to the pin and a little dab of solder on, on the far side. Shouldn't take long, just a moment to heat the pin up and drop it on there. That smoke is the flux burning off. Um, probably best if you try not to breathe it. Um, I have a fan that just like suck away any of the, the uh, smoke that comes off. But the problem is uh, I'm trying to show you how to do this. The uh, fan gets in the way and I can't actually get the soldering iron in there, get the tip, get the solder and get it all done and still actually accomplish anything with the fan. So I had to, fan had to move out of the way so I get this job done. But that's it. it there it's all soldered up. You let it cool for a minute and then you can uh, use the parts.